third point uh, third um, fundamental mistake uh, we are going to discuss here is the inverse square law of gravity this is basically is is not a fundamental concept uh, it's it's basically derived from the notion that sun sun is a huge huge object and uh, even if we compress that object to a point mass it will measure same amount of mass so with that with that uh, assumption so this this theory this um, inverse square law of gravity was derived sun here is the sun and then now um, it's a huge object here and we compressed it to a point mass and then um, we take an object here the light emitting from the sun uh, falls on the abcd object with its its uh, at a distance from d from the sun and then if we move the same object to a double the distance between these two objects uh, the light amount of light reaching the other object uh, will be one fourth of the initial amount reaching when the same object was at this point means like uh, this object will grow into like uh, the shadow will grow into like uh, four, four four parts of same area of this object so when the light is divided between four so it will get one fourth of the uh, light um, it, it's uh, it used to get when the same object was here so that's why so the um, the gravitational theories they are like a, it became like a 1 by d square so uh, f equal to g m1 m2 by d square that's how um, this this concept um, this uh, d square was derived using this um, notion so when you compress the huge object like our star the sun to a point size the object huge object and then point size sun are both same no way when as we saw in the definition of mass when you compress an object it measures more and more on gravity to its surroundings and uh, at the same time it will have more and more binding energy within that object that's that makes it to measure more gravity to its surroundings so definitely you can assume a sun a big huge sun as a point source and then um gravity is a mutual interaction if one object when you put two objects here or if one object exerts gravity on this one this object also exerts the gravity on this one this object so it's totally a mutual interaction when you take a earth here let's suppose this is an earth and um, this is um, this is when you assume the sun as a point mass and why can't we assume this earth also as a point mass so why this is being spread uh, showing in the actual area of the target let's compress this object also point mass and um, here there are a lot of assumptions here one is compressed to a point one is not and then one is shown as emitting light and gravity was assumed as a field theory gravity emits the light as works as the light emitting from an object so why not we compress this object also a point mass and then make uh, make it is uh, make that one also as a light emitting object and the light falls from uh, one object one object light emits on line what kind of um, inverse square law will be defined between these two objects and um, certainly as we seen in the definition of mass you can't assume an object to a mass and say both are having the same amount of mass so with those basic assumptions whatever the assumptions used in this principle are flawed the assuming the sun as point and then at the as a fuse object and at the as not emitting the light and only the sun emitting the light so all these flaws contributed to the validation of this principle somehow this principle got uh, came into light and then uh, derived using those flawed basic principles 
So when you eliminate all those principles, like the concept of mass, concept of force, this North Square law, along with the Shell theorem, this another theorem which says uses tremendously uses the definition of mass, all basically will disappear. When we represent the systems with exact practical observations, we replace the systems with practical observations, and then try to unify the forces. If they are different, then try to unify the forces. When we represent the systems with the true representation of practical observations, everything will automatically get unified. So that is the main concept of my book, the gravity from a new angle, new perspective. And then it totally explores in the first part all the flaws in the um, physics, and then second part defines the what is the new principle of gravity. And third part, it will um, uh, explain using this new theory all the gravity anomalies being observed and then all the uh, all the gravitational observations um, is explained using this new theory. Um, so these are the main concepts covered in my book, and uh, if you want, you can uh, you can get more details from my website uh, uh, www.kmasagatla.com. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please email me. Uh, I will definitely respond to your questions or comments. And um, I, I appreciate your time and uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. And uh, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.